All right, welcome to the show today. Thank you for being here. I am very grateful that you showed up. Today we are talking about advanced metrics. Which ones in particular? We're talking about Raptor. Have you heard of Raptor? Probably not. Have you heard of VORP? I talked about VORP in the last video. Raptor is a rating to, that predicts how good a player is going to be and also how good he is at this point in time. We also are gonna talk about real plus minus. Have you heard of this? Do you listen to podcasts? Do you listen to the low post? Do you listen to anything on the ringer? If you do, you've probably heard them make fun of this stuff, but it's kind of important. So let's Let's get into the show. Okay, box plus minus is very simple. It's the amount of points that you scored while you were on the court, subtracting the amount of points the other team scored while you were on the court. So it's pretty simple. It's basically, while you were on the court, did they score more, did you score more, and how much is the differential? But what that doesn't cover is the fact that you might be playing with a player that's exceptionally good. Let's take Reggie Jackson, for instance. In 2014, he had the 27th best box score plus minus, but he always played with Kevin Durant. So people were like, hey, if he's really good, but is he the 27th best player in the league? Absolutely not. He's just playing with Kevin Durant, so obviously his box score is going to be really good because he's sharing minutes with the greatest player in the league right now. So they came up with real plus minus. What does real plus minus do? Well, it evaluates you against the people that you're playing, and it also evaluates you against the people you're playing with. So it takes into consideration if you're playing against a very easy team, it's going to like take that into lower consideration. It's not going to give you lots of points, but if you're playing exceptionally well with really bad players on your team and you're playing a really good team and you're killing it and you're doing really well and you're getting more points than the other team, you're going to shoot up in real plus minus because it's trying to say, hey, you're actually really good because you're playing against a good team and you're playing with a bunch of scrubs. So that's what real plus minus is. Who invented it? A guy on the Phoenix Suns. I'm going to put his name up right here. You don't know his name, but he used to work for the Phoenix Suns and apparently that's important in basketball and he needs to be recognized. So who had the best real plus minus this year? We're going to evaluate who had the best real plus minus and we'll decide is real real plus minus an actual stat that matters. Because are the good players having really large real plus minuses? Yes, they are. Nikola Jokic, number one with 11. Embiid with nine. Steph Curry, nine. Tatum, eight. Giannis eight. So, okay, I guess it has a little bit of credibility because we can all agree that those were some of the best players in the league this year. So what's the formula? It's a secret. No one knows, but it is based on public data. That's all I know about it. They won't reveal the secret formula to it, but they will tell you who has the best real plus minus. Next is Raptor rating. What is Raptor? I've heard people talk about this, not the Toronto Raptors, but the robust algorithm player tracking on and off rating. A lot of words. What this is considering is your prediction for the future, how good you're going to be based on a couple different factors. So it takes into consideration player tracking. What's player tracking? Well, the NBA has a ton of really weird stats that it keeps track of. It keeps track of the miles that you've actually walked around on the court. That's one, for instance. It also cal <laughs> calculates average speed. This is all on NBA.com. It's actually very interesting. So people I want to bring up is Fred Van Vliet covers 2.82 miles a game. He's out there running. He's out there hustling. He has the highest of anyone that played over like 30 games. So Fred Van Vliet, hustler, gets it done. I bet you didn't know that. This is all on NBA.com. I didn't email someone and ask. Most miles covered this season. So they have that. They have the distance, the amount of feet that you covered in the season. And I thought this was weird. This is weird. It's totally irrelevant from basketball, but the top ones were Mikel Bridges and Miles Bridges. Same last name. Interesting. Okay. And then the next ones are Tyrese Halliburton and Tyrese Maxey. Same first name. And then the next one is Scotty Barnes and Harrison Barnes. Same last name. It's weird. It doesn't have anything to do with anything, but it's kind of odd, isn't it? You can imagine me reading these stats. I'm like, that's very weird that these come in pairs. But those are the guys. Those are the guys guys really out there running around the court. Were they running around the court for good reason? <laughs> Were those steps wasted? I don't know, but those are the guys that are putting in the most miles on the court. So it takes into consideration those weird stats, your speed, how many miles you run on the court, all sorts of weird stuff like that. And it also considers, were you all NBA in the recent years? How tall are you? What, how old are you? And then where were you drafted? So it takes into that into consideration to project how good you're going to be in the future. Think about it if you're like, a, if you're a GM, you wanna know who's gonna be good in the future. You're signing a guy for $150 million for a five year contract. You wanna have some sort of formula, some sort of math, because people are really comfortable with math, stats and weird algorithms and stuff people trust. So they say, hey, is this guy gonna be good in five years though? When we're paying him $40 million a year, is he still gonna be good? Hopefully. Raptor rating will tell you if they're going to be good or not, but I don't know. I would have to say probably not. I don't think you can predict the future based on the past necessarily. That's me. That's what I believe. Thank you for coming to the show. Thank you for being here. If you enjoyed it, subscribe. If you didn't enjoy it, 
Thanks for being here anyway. Please don't subscribe if you're not gonna watch more videos because I think that matters. Be good to your mom. Feed your animals, don't neglect them. Oh, 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 oh,